everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome back to Let's Play Return to Popol Christ, a story of Seasons Fairy Tale. In the last episode, we cleared through the mountain ruins, and oh, actually, this guy, maybe we can talk to him now. He seems pretty happy now. Chosen one, thou shalt step into the light and emerge at the crucial juncture within the land thou loves. Go now with heart strong and with and will ironclad. Okay, that's fine. It's a really great endorsement from him. But we'll be going into the Farm of Light, or whatever it's called. So, let us venture forth into this new area we are going into. That's right. Well, here we are. Urban Sylvan, Sylvan Farm and the first Farm of Light. Hey, wait. This is it? Looks just like a regular field in the middle of a forest. Ain't nothing special. Hmm? But it is special. Sounds like somebody wasn't listening when Mayor Mehron told us all about this place. C of course I was. Of course I was listening. I, I can grow really good crops. I get it. But now that the we're here, what do we do? How do we purify the dark energy? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Got any ideas, old mystical fairy? Well, that's easy. We just have to rescue any my superior whose power has been sealed here. Come on! Okay. Do we just run into random circles, or- Oh! Alas, poor Lady Air- 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 Frozen in time and helpless. How pitiful, how sad. I can hardly bear to look at her. So, Mr. Hero, you need to shine the light of the mountain flambeau on her. That'll snap her out of it in no time. Grateful to you for your rescue, friend. That light, which bears the blessings of this land, gives me strength as well. For this is the Sylvan Farm, one of the farms of light that serves to protect Lady Galeriel, and a pivotal spot for all of her bane. Revived now, thanks to you, and with it, bounty shall come once more to this region. You have my boundless gratitude, courageous hero. I am the fairy Aerolith, keeper of this farmland. Lady Ellerf is one of the four great lords of the Gallery of Sprites. They're leaders of all, of all our people. And she's super amazing. She knows she knows everything. In fact, she's so famous for her knowing everything that people call her Ellerf the Great Mind. Okay, so now we oops, sorry. So now that we um know that they all have the same voices, I want to call you Kampa because I just realized that Nonika's from Stella Glow, her voice actress, is the same one as Kampa from um from Hyperdimension Neptunia. I will admit, someone in the comment section did point that out to me. I had a feeling that her voice was also familiar. Um, again, when I was playing through Vic um Neptunia again, but still, now I can now I can finally pinpoint where the voice is from. So Connie is Nonika, and Elrif will be will be Kampa. Not really, but let's just keep going. Or maybe I should call you no Nonika and her compa of how creative she's being right now. It's an honor to receive such praise from you, my lady. Okay, stop making me go back and forth with who I'm calling. Okay, okay, that's fine. I, I, I actually feel like this line is in Stella Glow, and I can just plop it out of Stella Glow and just put it right here. It'll fit perfectly fine. as a whole should see a marked improvement. However, that is but a drop in the bucket as long as Lady Galeriel remains indisposed. Griffith's dark roots run deep, snaking their way through the earth and affecting every last corner of Gallery Land. That's right, the road ahead is a long one for sure, but we mu but we have Mr. Hero to help guide us through. After all, we are 25% done with the adventure, at least I think. Wait up! 
Come on, Pietro, we gotta go too. I knew this is being too good to be true. And Pumpkin Man, you seem to be relatively quiet for all this. So we have to go ahead and fight this strange beast to reclaim this farm completely to be ours. Yeah, I kind of figured that, you know, this, you know, being a... Just, just shine the lamp and we're done would be too good to be true. Oh, hey, so we really were on the other side of this gate. That's pretty sweet. Er, guess now is not the time to be impressed. Look! Ain't that the same black beast we was blocking the road to Zazul? What the heck's it doing all the way out here? I don't know, but it, it looks like we'll, we'll have to. We'll have. We're gonna, going to have to find, fight, fight it, not find out. Huh. Mister. Yo, Pumpkinhead. The heck's going on with you? What? What? What am I doing? And what's that? This ain't the time for jokes. Oh, it, it's coming! It came back. Oh, that was a very, a very unimpressive roar. Oh well, let's fight this thing and take it down. Well, I, 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 hope, I like to hope that we are in good shape to fight this thing. So let's go all out. Let's use a barrage. All right. So hopefully this guy won't be too much of a struggle for us, because as we know in the last battle, he took out Pumpkin Man in one fell swoop. So let's just be careful here. Keep our distance whenever we can. Oh, a nice critical. All right. That's what I hate about our, um, you know, you have to actually, you can't move and do a skill. Still just like that, but hey, I'm getting used to it. So moving Pumpkin Man over a little bit. And we'll keep Pietro down here. Let's use a Wind Slash. We can actually use that, yeah, stay far away and attack from a distance. Attack from, from a mustache. Attack from a distance. Not that much damage, but still, it's good to keep a bit of a distance on these type of things. Because you have no idea how much damage they can do to you in one hit. But I'd like to hope they can't do, like, 200 damage in one shot. Okay, like 54. Not too bad. Um, if he gets a critical, that's, I mean, that's kind of game over, though, but still. All right, Pumpkin Man, use a hidden missile. And then hopefully I'll do more damage. Hopefully we can level up that attack soon so we can do even more with it. Because I'm only basically using it to take on bosses, but I'm pretty sure once we upgrade it, it could probably be a bit more useful. All right, use another barrage on this guy. 95 damage. All right, sweet. Overheat? Uh-oh. And then he's just a moose to stash or something? I guess that's all he did was boost his stats, but yeah. All right, fire break. Um, that'll probably do more damage and get us a bit, a bit closer, but not too close. Uh, who am I kidding? You're probably still gonna take damage in the next turn from it anyway. Only thirty-six damage. Wow, I should have stuck to the wind break. Okay. Um. Okay, go ahead and bite it from over here. I'm a bit concerned because of its stats being up like that, but still. I'm kind of glad the barrage attack can attack from any distance around. Oh, his defense is also put up because he didn't do the base 100. All right, hyper missile again. Hopefully, we can take him out in a few more shots of all of our all-out attacks. Pretty much. It would be nice if we attacking from attacking from the back would do more damage, but oh well. Okay, that, that, not too bad. So I guess we're not gonna, we're not gonna have a repeat of that guardian who managed to take us out in what who took Pumpkin Man out in one hit. Ugh, oh well. Um. All right, attack this thing again. Ooh, a critical, nice. Okay, Pumpkin Man, you need to be healed. Hopefully, Blue Wolf get a chance to move before you can. Um, taking taking the taking the risk. Maybe we'll we'll kill in this in this turn. Ninety-eight damage. Does that finish it off? Not quite. All right, maybe a Wind Slash will finish it off. I'm, pro I'm probably not. I'm not probably not doing this the best possible way, but hey. I'm pretty sure there's more strategies that I could be doing than going through all out attacks in this thing. Oh! Who needs that? It, it worked anyway! Oh, come on, really? Pumpkin Man, you were this close to leveling up! Come on! Uh, it's a person! D does that mean that we were just we just fought was a person who'd been transformed? Yeah. Uh... Huh? I know that voice. Stop, please. It's Tag. This old geezer is Tag. Why? You mean the missing carpenter from from uh, Matthew Village? Pietro, we gotta go let the villagers know right away. Yeah, he needs to be, he needs help. Let's, let's go. Let's get Mayor Marin. Hmm. Well, now, not bad, Pietro. Not bad at all. 
I think I have some idea why you're so hard to transform into a black beast yourself. <laughs> oh. The real question is, what will you do next? I've got high hopes for you, little prince. I'll make a healthy, strong beast out of you yet. Well now, that was quite the uh, development. A short while later, meanwhile, back at the plot. Pietro, was it? I'm truly grateful to you for the work you've done here. Not only have you restored the, S the Sylvan farm to its former glory, you've rescued Tag. I don't know how I could ever thank you. From now on, you have the support of Matthew Village in all your endeavors. I promise you that. Speaking of which, I have two things to give you. First, well, you may not realize this, but the farm you've settled on is actually owned by me. What? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean you did without your permission. Uh, no, no, no. That place had gone completely under, so I certainly wasn't doing anything with it. I appreciate you saving it from the brink. And as thanks for your valiant efforts, I've decided to officially bestow ownership of the farm to you. It is now well and truly yours. May you continue to produce a bountiful yield upon it. Thanks! Mayor, Mayor Maron, I don't know what to say. Thank you! Secondly, I believe Teg has something special for you as well. To show his gratitude for having been rescued from that awful beast form. Ah. That's right. I really don't remember a whole lot what happened when I was a monster. But I know you saved my life. Unfortunately, all I got in return is my carpentry skills. But I'm gonna do what I can to repay you with it. I was thinking, maybe I could give the old farm set a total overhaul. Maybe an easier place to live. What do you say? Mr. Hero! We should take him up on that offer. If Mr. Hero has a comfortable place to sleep, that'll make me happy too. I think you just want a comfortable place to sleep yourself, Connie. Okay, that sounds that sounds great. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Just leave it to me then. I'll get to work right away. All right, it's be kind of cool to see how how our farm overhauled. And with that, the residents of Matthew Village all banded together to rebuild Pietro's farm to something be befitting a local hero. Oh, nice! It's like an actual farm from Story of Seasons now. Wait a minute, I had, I had crops growing, what happened to them? Well, what do you think? It's a farm, or is this a farm? Yeah, but where did my crops go? I planted a bunch of them before I did this mission. You mean they're gone now? You stole my crops? That's right! Whoa, it's so big and beautiful, I haven't ever seen anything another quite like it! No, seriously, you steal my crops though. I, I was planning them to sell and, you know, use to make give for his gifts and stuff. Thanks! It really is, Tag, thank you so much! Pietro, our crops, come on, we planted like seven turnips and like eight pieces of spinach. Hey, again, you saved my last. There's nothing, there's nothing by, by comparison by stealing your crops. Anyway, I'm headed back to the village, but if you need me for anything, it's just, just holler. All right. Thank you so much for stealing our crops. Still bitter. Gonna be bitter for a while. All right, so... Let's see if we can take a bit of a trip around our farm now, now that we have a brand new farm to look at. Yeah. Mr. Hero? It really is to have a nice place I can call home. A place I can go back to. Mr. Hero? And until I'm able to return the Popola Croix, I guess this farm is ours. So let's make the most of it and enjoy our new home. I really do want to get back to the Popola Croix as soon as, as I possibly can, so I want to make sure everyone okay, is, everybody's okay there. But there, that alone isn't enough anymore. I also want to take back the blessing of the Earth from Griffith to, sa to save the people of Gallery Land. Mr. Hero! Oh, Mr. Hero, that's my greatest wish as well, and Lady Gallery Galleriel's. All right. I know which is why I'm going to I'm going to do everything in my power to make it happen. Until Lady Gallery's full been resurrected, my quest here isn't over. Mr. Hero! All right, so we're doing the right thing. Awesome. I'm not going to give up on this. I made my, my I made up my mind. I can't just save one one world anymore. I have to save them both. 
All right, let's. So we're gonna show we can have our cake and eat it too. Save your progress. And yeah, let's not save for now, just in case something does happen. But hey, oh, chapter three, medicine for the sumo. Interesting. All right, so let's see what we have in front of us now. Yep, my crops are gone. Fantastic. What's that strange contraption? Guess I should, I should just just ask the guy behind the counter. But this is our farm. Why are you here? Oh, okay. Let's go and give him a talking to. Yo, they call me the Synthesis Mayor. Marin sent me to here to lend you my support. Oh, cool. You just hand me two or two of anything, please, be it food or arm, arm, armaments, and I can meld them together into one here here with the Synthesis Synthesis machine. Just leave all the inner workings of it to me. Nothing you gotta do but hand me, hand me things, yo. Accept this quest? Sure. I'm basically living here now, so you can come see me any anytime. I'll make something nice. How's that sound? Okay, cool. So let's see what this new quest is. Um, oh, our party's in reduce. Okay. Um, so, note quests. Let's see here. Okay. Within the house of Teg built for you, one um, on, for in the farm, there's a set of peculiar machine that's supposedly capable of of taking any two items and melding them into one. What sort of of crazy contraption is it? Well, let's find let's find out. Okay, uh, let's see. Do I have anything I, I can fuse? Okay, I, let's build a scrappy stone and a and, and a scrap stone and a scrappy stone. Oh, um, let's see. I don't think this is recommended. Try okay. No, let's try something that makes sense. I guess. Is there like no recipes we can use? Oh, okay, let's see. Um, let's go with a, I don't know, a soft copper and a flaky iron. I think, okay, cool. Let's see what this turns into now. We got a blade, okay, a blade bane cloak. You wanna use anything else while you're here? Nah, it's good. Well, how'd it turn out? Do you love it? Feel free to come back anytime, yo. Pietro has learned this, this synthesis process. Awesome. They completed that quest. Yo, actually, I heard a rumor going around. People are saying there's another machine just like this some, somewhere in, else in Gallery Land, but even more powerful. Supposedly, it can take three items and make them into one. I bet with that, with the right recipe, you can make some pretty sweet stuff using that thing. I'm I'm kind of envious, yo. Okay, so if, look, we'll have to keep, take a look onto that. Well, before we, um... Whoa. Oh, ho! Are you the mailman? This is the perfect spot. Absolutely perfect. Um, who are you? Me? Why, well, I'm just an old coot who happens to like bugs. A regular bug nut, if you will. I've been traveling far and wide across all the gallery land and searches them, and received a, pers a bleh, persistent that I might encounter some here. And, and lo and behold, there are bugs everywhere. So many that I may, I think I may just live here, right on this very spot. Um, dude, this is our farm, and did you even ask if you could live here, like the guy in the other building? I mean, you gotta pay rent or something, dude. Uh, no need to thank me, but if you're ever curious to learn more about the wonderful world of bugs, I'll be happy to fill you in. This is my farm, dude. What are you doing here? This, this is my farm. Get out! Get out of here! You don't belong on my farm! Alright, let's talk to him at least. My, this is a lovely little slice of paradise, isn't it? The sweet scent of flowers waft through the area, mixing with the unmistakable aroma of bugs. Haha. <laughs> you like bugs, don't you? Oh, what I'm what am I saying? Of course you do. Don't you don't even try to deny it. I'm actually kinda creeped out by bugs, honestly. Um Oh why not oh idea! How would you like to try catching a few for yourself? Accept this quest? Sure. Excellent! Here, I've got an old bug net with me. It's yours now. Receives a bug net. All right. The best place to find bugs are in large patches of flowers. The denser they are, the more likely it is to find bugs fitting around them. When you see a swarm of bugs flying around a patch of flowers, stand in front of them and press the A button to swing your net and catch a few. All right. Ah, <laughs> net worth. Okay, let's see. Ahem. 
a patch of flowers with a swarm of in- of insects flirting around them is a prime target for for bug catching. Stand near one and press and bleh. and when you see the exclamation mark mark up here, press the A button to swing your net. Any bug you catch can be sold to the, uh, sold to the bug net on bug net on your farm, who will also add te- who add stamps to your bug card. Hitting five, ten, twenty, twenty five stamp miles will score you a prize. Oh, okay. Um, let's go ahead and see. Um, how do I equip the um, equip? Wait, uh, oh, wait, what am I thinking? You just press the button in front of it. Okay, Ultra Hairy Bee, Piggy Bug, and a Dry Leafy Moth. Okay, let's go talk to them about that. Oh, ho, do I stick some flittering in your bag of yours? Pietro has learned has learned how to catch bugs. Awesome, that quest will definitely increase our net worth, so to speak. Alright, you really do like bugs. I knew it. Oh, I, I'd never been so happy about right here before. Ooh, <laughs> idea. If you should have ever catch so many bugs that amazes and astound as even me, I'll give you an even better net. You will, you have my word on that. How about you give me the net right now and I don't kick you off my farm for trespassing? No? It's not going to work that way? That's fine. More people trespassing? Animal Lady. Nice to meet you. I've come to help out on the farm. Please call me Animal Lady. Please leave. You might think it's an insult, but I assure you, I love it. Let's rap a bit about farm animals, shall we? Oh my. This is your barn, where you are able to keep and, and tend various farm animals, including, uh... Cocodies, Sumo, and Paca... Paca Pacas. So, alpacas, a cow, and chickens. Okay. Once once the animals have spent enough time here, they'll start leaving leaving you little presents that you can help 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 you out in your day to day life. Um, when animals leave little presents, it's normally sons of the ones I wish to throw out and never see again. Cuckody, for example, will deposit their eggs in the straw field uh, field next field nest, and and paca packers will shed their fur there as well. So they're either alpacas or sheep. Okay. Sumo, meanwhile, will just get will just uh, get in, in gorge with milk, wh- which you can squeeze out out of them to drink or sell or synthesize whatever you want to do. Okay, in order to keep your animals well fed and full of pep, you you want to make sure the feed box here is always stocked to fresh produce. Okay, and if you ever have any questions or concerns relating to your farm, farm animals, you'll have to give me a, give give me a holler. And I'll do whatever I can to help. All right, sounds good. All right, so a variety of farm animals can be tended to to in your barn. Feed them, give them treats, talk to them, and nurture them, and you'll be rewarded with milk, eggs, or fur. These products can then be sold via the shipment box, just like produce. So basically, the produce we have now we can either sell or use for animal feed, instead of actually, like, planting grass. Oh, my crops are still here! You didn't steal them! I take back everything I said about you, um, carpenter dude. I think it was Tag or something. Alright, so let's harvest my crops here. These will definitely come in handy. Um, some people were talking about I need to start, show off more, um, farming, farming gameplay. I will be doing that, you know, relatively soon. I mean, we only have like these, like these few patches of farm, and we just unlocked the ability to get animals. I think we unlocked the ability to get animals. I don't, I didn't know. They, they just said we can now house them, but I don't know where we can actually buy them. Oh well, we at least we get a lot of produce we can feed to our animals at least. But I'll probably gift, you know, do some gifts and stuff and whatnot. So I'm basically going to do some farm work here. And speaking of Story of Seasons, I should probably mention I'm going to try to record some more of that for the future. Um, I do miss playing it a bit. I've been super busy. Um, I usually play Story of Seasons in my leisure time, uh, my personal file, when I don't, like, you know, I have, like, free time at school or something. I just play for, like, 15 or 20 minutes. So, yeah. And I'll be quite honest, in Story of Seasons has been getting a bit harder to commentate over. Um, basically, I'm just repeating the same processes over and over again, just trying to get more money, winning conquests for entire town domination! But that's not going to, you know, it's it's not, it's going to continue on. Um, it, it will definitely have a lot more episodes of that out before um, the new Story of Seasons game hits, which will either probably be out later this holiday season or next year. I don't know when it will come to America. I may just actually import it, to be, um, honestly. I know a bit of Japanese. I'm studying. I'm, that's my minor in school. I'm actually I'm majoring in computer science with a minor in Japanese. So I like to hope that can come in handy. Okay, let's plant all these turnips here. And basically, I would just harvest these turnips off screen because um, they grow in real time, not in game time. So I guess basically just close my 3DS and let these things grow, kind of like Mokomoku's friends. Yeah, the game I had to review a while back. Um, they had a, it had a mechanic similar to this where you, where you could grow. Um, where you could grow different materials 
to craft into different um, into different things. No, I'm not Let's Play that game. It's not a game for me. I reviewed it on my website. It's an okay game for a person's first JRPG. It's not a game that I would want to um, personally um, Let's Play myself. So, yeah. I'll plant some of these carrots, because why not? But, um, yeah, so I'm not gonna ever Let's Play Moko Moko's Friends. I know I did, that, I did that as a gag in an episode of Stella Glow where I, um, started the Let's Play of, with Moko Moko's Friends in the beginning of it. But, um, again, that was just a one-off gag. I have never Let's Played that game. I've had some people ask me to Let's Play it. Um, uh, I'm not. It's just not a game I, I would want to Let's Play. Um, if you have a younger sibling who wants to get into JRPGs, by all means, go ahead and buy them that game. And yeah, this was onto a tangent here with um, my farming. <laughs> I guess some people watch my story of seasons let's play because I just went on different tangents while I farmed. It's a bit relaxing. I, I kind of miss it. I'm gonna record more of it now. You heard it here first. We get more story of season stuff. Probably when I have more free time because school started back up and and whatnot, and I got a lot of other stuff I got to do. So yeah, uh, I feel nostalgic. But, uh, yep, so we have our plants grown there. Uh, we'll look into getting more animals so we can raise on our farm. Let's talk to you, animal lover. Okay, queen animals. Oh, okay, we can adopt new animal. Awesome. And they're not, you know, overly expensive. Okay, um, well, the chickens aren't. Let's see here. Oh, all we can buy are chickens. That's fine. Um, is no one's named Omelette. That sucks. Okay. Oh, we'll buy Muffin, because I'm actually really hungry. Gotcha, so we'll adopt Muffin then? Yes. All right, thank you very much. I'm sure I'll be, I'll be very happy to have... I'm pretty sure I'll be happy, very happy to have you. Shall I send Muffin to your barn now? Well, yeah. Transferring Muffin to your barn, huh? I'll get it taken care of right away. Well, to be honest, where else would we have left Muffin? Oh, well. Let's go see, let's go see, see Muffin. Hello, Muffin. Muffin is in good spirits today. Awesome. Okay, um... Let's put some... Let's put some uh, turnips in there, shall we? Two turnips should do it. There we go. Only one chicken's in here, so that's fine. So we have now have animals we can take a look at in here. That's pretty neat. So I think that'll probably call it an episode today. We saw, we saw a lot more of our farm around here, and let's see what we can look forward to in the future. So next time on Let's Play Return to Popo Lacroix, A Story of Seasons Fairy Tale. We shall be going forward off into continuing into Chapter 3 and seeing what we can do with our new farm and how, how the area outside of outside of us has been affected. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment down in the comments section below. Let me know if you guys have any questions or anything of the sorts. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off. Thank <laughs> you.